Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Ask a Geek, a series where I answer your sci-fi fantasy related questions. This episode, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting quite a bit, especially since we got confirmation of a Masande Grey Worm sex scene in season seven. Does Grey Worm have a penis? Or did they cut off both his cock and balls? Some people are super excited for that Masande Grey Worm sex scene this season, and while I'm really not and I don't think it's necessary, it has stirred up some questions. The Unsullied are eunuchs, so that means they had their testicles removed, right? He still has the pillar, just not the stones, so clearly he can still chitty chitty bang bang Masande. Maybe. Here's where we may be getting another difference between the books and the show for added drama or plot. So in the books, the slaves that train to become an Unsullied are fully castrated. Their penis and testicles are both cut, so there is nothing left down there. They then take their cut off private parts and burn it at the altar of the Lady of Spears. So even if they wanted to, there's no putting those things back on. The taking of the testicles is to ensure the soldiers have no desire for sex and will not rape. However, since an erection is still technically possible without testicles, the penis is also removed to ensure no sexual activity will take place. It's basically an extra assurance. Yeah, they probably won't rape without their testicles, but they can still get the erection without them, so let's just remove everything. So both the penis and testicles being removed is definitely confirmed in the books. In the show, however, it hasn't been 100% confirmed they're keeping it the same as in the books. They very well could have him keep his penis for some fun time with Masande. However, there have been definite hints that Grey Worm had everything removed, such as Masande questioning why an Unsullied would be in a brothel but she could simply be referring to their lack of sex drive. Of course, we also hear on the show, characters talk about Grey Worm's lack of balls a lot, but never really his penis, such as in this deleted scene from season five. If you got to um, the problem, it'd be difficult working through that one. Listen, we're friends. The time comes and you need someone to give her what you can't. She can close her eyes and think of you. But again, that could be referring to them having their testicles cut off, making it harder to achieve and maintain an erection. But even if that's true, because of when the Unsullied are cut, it's going to make it even harder, if not impossible, for them to even get an erection in the first place. In the show, since it's confirmed that they have at least their testicles removed before puberty, before the age of five, it will be likely that as a man, it will be almost impossible to achieve an erection. And this is a bit different than if you were to cut off the balls of an adult male. If you cut off the balls of someone that hasn't gone through puberty yet, it's going to be almost impossible for them to have an erection later in life. If you cut off the balls of an adult male, they're going to have an easier time getting an erection, but it, it's still going to be more difficult than their counterparts that have their testicles still. So even if Masande tries to get action from Grey Worm and he still has his penis, he might not be able to get it up, and if he can, he might not be able to hold it up for long. Even Oberyn Martell remarked on their bedroom performance, saying, I have been to Essos and seen the Unsullied firsthand. They are very impressive on the battlefield, less so in the bedroom. So does Grey Worm still have a penis? In the books, no, that thing is definitely gone. In the show, I could actually see them changing it in order to have that Masande Grey Worm relationship. That being said, you don't need a penis to have sex. Masande's actress has been very open about how pure and beautiful their relationship is. Maybe because they find other ways to sexually please each other without a penis, though I'm not sure why that makes it pure, but whatever, penises. Or maybe it's because his sexual desire is cut down from lack of testicles and it's more a bonding over being former slaves, everything they've been through and just love for each other. But if you're just really worried about the sex scene, if you're like, Roris, we need some sort of phallic device to go into Masande. Don't worry, Tyrion has it covered. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Hashtag Ask a Geek. Leave your questions down below, like, subscribe, and... The season is almost here.
motherfuckers.